It's so cold out here, even the clicker is like on some pause type stuff. Man, I think I checked the forecast this morning and it's like 24 degrees, y'all. It's not even Thanksgiving yet and it's already down to 24. Now, I really never really trust that Almanac stuff, but I think now I'm probably trusting the Almanac because they said it's, we're gonna have one heck of a winter. It's gonna be a rough winter. So I think they're correct because we're not, we're barely into November. We already hit snow and now we're hitting freezing temperatures down below freezing like in the 20s. Come on, this is crazy. the outdoor living I was at a business group a little meeting that I go to every once in a while it's out in Naperville and what it is is a bunch of businesses they all come together and we just answer a bunch of questions about uh, our businesses their ideas you know the things that business owners deal with as they grow they really don't have a bunch of other people to hang out with and talk to pretty neat group during the meeting the other day in the group one of the guys I was sitting next to we were talking about business and like Instagram and then some of the marketing and then the videos and things like that. And he said something that was very powerful to me and I kind of played off on the last vlog I did a couple days ago, but I actually want to go more in depth on that. And he was saying as a business owner and as a person in general, you need to find your why. I mean, you need to really define who you are, what you do and how you do it. And the people who agree with your why, they'll come out of woodwork and, and want to be a part of that. So, you know, a lot of times business owners, they'll get phone calls from from potential clients they'll show up and after you get to talk and you realize that this is not the right client they don't understand the cost they don't understand the value they don't understand what's going on and really what happens is they didn't really understand your why like if it was spelled out from what he's explained to me if it was spelled out in the beginning that client would automatically see it on my website see it in my vlogs and understand who they're calling and what they are and they know exactly what's going on and we can handle business and do business a whole lot faster instead of wasting each other's time so I thought about it like one of my whys and I'll probably do this in a series maybe a few videos from time to time but I thought about it one of my whys in in just design ability alone is I noticed this and I know it's sort of traps so you, you, I try to bounce in and out of but when you think about it the the amount of people that we have in the whole United States of America through the world there's enough clients for us to do business with and one of my biggest whys when it comes to design is I'm a very modern designer a lot of the concept that I come with, they're square, they're linear. Uh, I like to have plant separations. I try to use different materials from concretes to pavers to different walls. I, I'm really not, like, even though I came from the brick paver industry, I'm really not a brick paver everything fan. Like it, it almost, it's horrible to me when I see jobs that are just the same color pavers, the same walls, no plantings up to the house, uh, things like that. So I really like to have different materials, different styles. Um, I'll use pavers, but I also have separations. I'm not really into big spaces like I don't believe in like big 40 by 40 spaces you can be a little bit more intimate with 16 by 20 even that's big that's really big I mean you really just need a room for tables and chairs and maybe some seating area and then separate areas for maybe your kitchen or like a lounge space with fire feature and stuff like that so a lot of my designs tend to be square linear so as I'm building and growing I have to know to make sure that the new clients or the potential clients that that uh, call upon us and our services know that they're a modern style design. They like the modern design. They want to be a part of that modern approach to have their design done. So, hey, that's a part of my vlog today, sort of defining my why. So I won't keep you long on the next few vlogs. So just here and there, like I think the next one, I'll do more the in-depth of customer service, why we're that way, some of the tips and tricks that uh, we do as a business in the customer service realm. Uh, thanks for watching my vlog. And here we go again. Hopefully it doesn't uh, take forever to come out this time.